Have you ever felt sorry for someone who just can't seem to get over a past relationship? It might seem romantic in a way, but also a little bit sad. Even though the romance ended a long time ago, they're still holding on to every memory, every detail, as if it happened yesterday. It doesn't matter if the person they loved moved away, got married to someone else, or even passed away. They just can't let go. One of the most famous stories about this kind of unrequited love is The Sorrows of Young Wertha by Gertie. In the story, the main character, Wertha, falls deeply in love with a woman named Charlotte. But Charlotte is already married to someone else, so she can't return Wertha's feelings. People have loved this story for centuries because it captures the pain and longing of unrequited love so well. But while we might think of this kind of love as romantic and noble, it's actually a way of avoiding real love altogether. Instead of facing the challenges and responsibilities of a real relationship, we become fixated on someone who can never love us back. There are lots of reasons why someone might be afraid of love. Maybe they're scared of getting hurt, or they don't think they deserve to be loved. Maybe they're afraid of opening up and being vulnerable with someone else. Whatever the reason, it's usually easier to focus on the person we can't have than to confront our own fears and insecurities. But if we want to move on and find real love, we have to be willing to look at ourselves honestly and ask ourselves why we're so fixated on this one person. What was it about them that we found so irresistible? And more importantly, are those qualities really unique to them, or can we find them in other people too? When we take the time to really think about it, we often realize that the qualities we admired in our ex are not as rare as we thought. There are plenty of other people out there who are just as kind, funny, and attractive, if not more so. And unlike our ex, they might actually be available and interested in being with us. Moving on from a past love can be hard, but it's also incredibly freeing. It means letting go of the safety net of unrequited love and opening ourselves up to the possibility of something real and meaningful. It means daring to believe that we deserve to be loved, and that there are people out there who are willing to love us just as we are. So the next time you find yourself pining over someone who can't return your feelings, remember that true love is not about longing for someone who is out of reach. It's about being brave enough to pursue real connections with people who see us for who we truly are, and who love us unconditionally. And that, my friends, is the most romantic thing of all.